So we've got two very different main courses, hearty meat versus modern veggie. As ever, we're going to set the cat amongst the pigeons by letting the chefs sample their rival's food. Marcus leads the way and goes straight in for the kill. The first thing that strikes me is that I'm not too sure how you would accept that as a main course, because there's no sort of sauce. It is quite, it is a little bit on the dry side. One way or another, it seems to be sticking in his throat. For a main course, it, it, it just lacks something. I don't know whether it lack, it's lacking starch, you know, potatoes or more vegetables, uh, a sauce. And never mind the flavours not being up to scratch for Marcus, he isn't sure it even qualifies for the competition. It, to me, was more like um, an Italian Mediterranean-style dish. I think the only thing that links it to the north is the, is the black pudding. But it's not really traditional black pudding. So he certainly doesn't see it as a threat. He thinks his hot pot is truer to the great British menu brief. Whether Simon thinks it's fancy enough for a royal banquet is another matter. It's a very nice taste. I think I was very surprised when I saw it. It just doesn't look like anything I would ever imagine. Uh, Marcus would present. I think he means it's a bit burnt, and there's more. I don't know if it's exciting enough. I don't know if there's anything in there that would make the judges go, wow, you know, that's ab absolutely amazing. So Simon's not fired up by the hot pot. It's very well cooked, it's very well executed, but the presentation isn't kind of what I expect. I mean, I do, I, I think it's a lovely dish, but I think mine is far more exciting. The underdog is convinced he's got the edge on the Michelin-starred MasterChef.